both sides really appear to be digging in here, don't they? Yeah, that's right. I mean, in the many years, if not decades, that I've been covering China, one thing that I've noticed uh, consistent in the messaging coming from the Chinese over the last few weeks, in particular with this trade war brewing, is the fact that they bring up consistently that they will not continue to be you know, uh, put under the pressure by foreign powers. And again, we're getting officials in China referring back to the 1800s and the Opium War, and they will not necessarily uh, be put under that kind of pressure again. So that is how the mindset seems to be in Beijing. And the latest person to echo these sentiments is Zhang Yansheng. He's a chief researcher at the Chinese government-backed China Center for International Economic Exchanges, speaking at a briefing yesterday that was arranged by by the Chinese government. Zhang, by the way, previously worked at the National Development and Reform Commission, the NDRC, which is the Chinese government's top planning body. He says, you know, this uh, trade tension could likely last until 2035. Uh, that is a date uh, that China has put on the calendar for achieving its socialist modernization, meaning that it would have technology innovations on par with the Western powers. And they put uh, these economic cycles in five-year plans. So that would be, what, another 15, 16, 17 years? Well, 16 years from now. So another three cycles of economic planning until uh, the trade war could possibly be resolved. And uh, again, it, it's, it's a, a very interesting part that uh, the Chinese government and Chinese researchers are portraying to the world. Well, you know, it's interesting to think about Lenovo and how it fits into the trade war, Stephen, as you well know. Um, ThinkPads were an IBM product. And of course, when Lenovo acquired IBM's personal computer division, you know, the, the, it became a Lenovo, right? I, I've had one here at Bloomberg. How do, how do they put that all together and how embroiled are they? Well, of course, China or Lenovo bought the ThinkPad brand from IBM in 2005. They also bought the server business in 2014. Uh, they've had a number of different acquisitions uh, in the United States. They have a second headquarters in North Carolina. They like to bridge or position themselves as a company that bridges both the United States and China. However, they could be embroiled in this trade war since they are originated, of course, in China. Uh, there had been speculation that perhaps that they would uh, also cut off uh, supplies to Huawei, which is a big purchaser of Lenovo PCs. This is what the CFO, Wang Ming told me yesterday after the Lenovo earnings here in Hong Kong. Huawei is one of our, I think, value customers. We'll continue to service them subject to, I think, complying with the rules, uh, the, the rules and the regulations. Now, again, this is the big question that we're trying to find out from many U.S. companies and international companies and whether they're going to cut off uh, ties and uh, customer relations with Huawei.